Hey guys, Ivan here, and in this video we got some very interesting bodybuilding updates and we are starting with this one. So, it's a photo, actually we have two photos, this is the first one, this is the first pose, front lat spread, it's a photo of Brion Ainsley and Exila, Rubio Mosquera. Now this is a recent physique update, this was taken today in Mexico and I think it's pretty safe to say that Brion Ainsley right now looks better then Nixzilla. That's right. That's exactly what is going on here. I mean, of course, Rubiel is bigger, but if this was a contest, Rubiel would lose. Brian would actually win. Now, at this point, Brian is three weeks out of the Arnold Classic. His conditioning is decent, but I don't think Brian was ever off on stage. He's always in very good condition. So at this point, uh, three weeks out, his conditioning is looking very good and that's why he kind of looks better than Rubiel Mosquera. Obviously, he's a much smaller bodybuilder, he's a classic guy and Rubiel is probably the biggest freak right now. But Rubiel right now is on a vacation in Mexico, as you guys know, and he is not prepping for either Arnold Classic Ohio or Arnold Classic UK or any of the upcoming shows. He has been off for a long time, since Prague Pro. He, was, he spent a lot of time with his family in a rural part of Colombia and he basically didn't have any access to the gym, to training. So this is basically what he looks like after about two months of not doing anything remotely related to bodybuilding. Here's another shot from Double Bicep. Brion kills him in this one, especially in the upper body. Legs, I don't know about that. I mean, Brion is known for having flatter legs, especially from the front. And Exila has like the biggest legs in bodybuilding of all time. So yeah, in the lower body, Exila looks way bigger. But upper body, you know, because of the waist size and just the conditioning, the hardness, the shape, Brion destroys him, honestly. It makes you wonder, in the comment section, people were saying stuff like, did Brion actually make this much progress? How does he look actually this good next to like the freakiest bodybuilder of today? And that is because, like I said, if you guys haven't seen my previous video, uh, Nixilla hasn't been on stuff for a long time since Prague Pro. He didn't even have access to the gym, so he didn't train, he was off. Uh, I'm assuming his diet was not a bodybuilding diet. He basically did everything but bodybuilding. He was partying, he was spending time with his family, he was relaxing, enjoying himself, enjoying life, didn't do any bodybuilding and this is what he looks like right now next to Brion Ainsley. Now, the interesting part here is that Brion posted this. And I accidentally saw it and I took a screenshot of it. But if you go to Brion's account right now, you will not find it. It's not there anymore. Now, these guys are both sponsored by the same sponsor, Yawa Labs. So this is why they, they met each other and they took these photos. But, you know, Brion kind of outangled Nexilla, and also, again, he's prepping his Rubik's out. He looks his best right now, and Nexilla, on a contrary, looks his worst, probably. And Brion took an advantage of this guy, you know, took these photos, outangled him a little, and, you know, he made himself look better than he actually is. He looks better than the freakiest bodybuilder in the world right now, the biggest breakthrough star of 2023. So I wonder who asked Brian to remove these photos. Was it Nexilla himself? Was it their sponsor? Was it Chris Cormier? Maybe. Somebody was unhappy. Somebody didn't like the fact that Brian posted these photos. And of course, he deleted them, but it was too late. And Brian knows very well that it is too late. All the Instagram and other social media bodybuilding platforms took their screenshots. And everybody is talking about this right now, about the fact that Nexilla looks fat and Brion is killing him in these two poses. Now, I don't know the backstory, I can only see that Brion posted this and then he deleted it. Who asked him to delete it? Was Nexilla not happy the way he looked here? If that's the case, then why did he even take the photos? Did he think that Brion was taking the photos for his personal collection? Of course he's gonna post the stuff. I mean, it's kind of a low blow, I'm sure Brion saw what Nexilla looks like and he still posted the stuff, but yeah, it makes sense, why wouldn't he? Why Nexilla even took the photos? I mean, that's the question. I mean, let's leave that alone. Let's pay attention to what Nexilla 
is looking like. I mean, as far as Brian, I don't see him like beating Ramondino and Urs Kalecinski, but he actually looks very good, and you know, he's probably gonna be in the top three at the Iron Classic. But as far as Nexilla, if you guys weren't sure if my video that I made previously wasn't enough for you, now you can see for sure Nexilla is not three weeks out of Iron Classic Ohio or five weeks out of Arnold Classic UK, he's out of both of those shows, and I don't think he's gonna start prepping for the New York Pro anytime soon, so who the hell knows when is this guy gonna prep again, it's a shame that he didn't do the Arnold Classic, I mean, he had so much momentum going for him, but it seems like he's not that driven, he's not that focused, we criticize Andrew Jack for competing too often, but, you know, we need to appreciate the guys like that who are willing to compete, so much, like Samson Dowd as well, not everybody is driven like that, not everybody is hard working like that, some guys, like Nexilla for example, need like a two month vacation after the competitive season, and that's fine, that's totally okay, not everybody is the same, some people need more rest, and uh, yeah, I'm glad that he had a rest, I hope soon he's gonna start building again, and then prepping, and hopefully we'll see him at a Mr. Olympia, hopefully he will qualify for a Mr. Olympia this year, I have no idea when, which show he's gonna do, but yeah, as for right now, he's not competing anytime soon, obviously. Alright, next up, we got Samson Dauda with another physique update, at three weeks out, and just take a look at his side chest, man, I mean, look at how big and full and round Samson is right now. I don't see any drastic improvements conditioning-wise, but I see crazy improvements in fullness. Maybe he had a couple of days of high carbs, so he filled out nicely. And look at the biceps in the left photo, like, I don't think his biceps were ever this peaky. It looks like he improved his biceps, but that's impossible. He didn't have enough time to do that, and I don't think he put any synthol in those biceps. So the only reason why they're looking like this right now is probably because he has a crazy bicep pump going on and he's full of carbs, that's just my assumption, but they're definitely looking better here than I ever saw them before, and that side chest, I don't think it ever looked this good, I don't think he ever had this kind of fullness, bubbliness, roundness in the side chest, I don't think so, so he looks crazy right here, and now I'm wondering, is Hari Chopin gonna post the same thing, because I don't know if you guys noticed, but Nick Strength and Power is trying to push some kind of a rivalry, or he's trying to make it like there is some sort of a beef between Samson Dauda and Hare Chopin, because they are rivals at the Arnold Classic, what he's saying is basically that Hare Chopin is posting the exact same poses right after Samson does, which personally I think it's just a coincidence, I don't think they are, you know, beefing, I don't think they are firing shots, I think it's all in Nick's head or he's trying to make it look like that, because sure, it would be more interesting, there was a rivalry, but I think it's all just a coincidence, but even if I'm wrong, I don't think there is much to base this assumption on, I mean, let's wait, let's see, if Hadi posts side chest and front double bicep, then yeah, I would admit, there is something to it, but as for right now, I think it's just a coincidence, I don't think there's anything going on, however, there was this uh, interesting story from Samson Dauda, and some people thought that this might be a shot uh, at Hadi, but I don't see how, but I don't know who else could it be directed to, so he says here, only weak-willed people talk trash about their competition to make themselves feel more adequate, a true inner strength needs no such thing, Champions respect every single individual and what they bring to the stage. Winners worry about winnings, while losers worry about winners. So could this be a shot at Hadi just because he posted similar poses, like Samson? Come on, come on, it's definitely not it. I don't know why would he be writing stuff like this right now, for no reason. It's weird, it's definitely weird, but I don't think this has anything to do with uh, Hadi if you guys think otherwise, feel free to comment down below. And next we got a physique update, or let's say a lag update of Horse MD. And this is basically why they're calling him Horse. I mean, I don't know if this is exactly why, but it would make sense because he has lags for days, man. Look at these freaking lags. 
Like these are some of the best legs in today's bodybuilding. And we saw that he is not lacking size. His legs are probably bigger than Samson Dauda's legs. And Samson has big legs, man. So this guy is actually massive. You know, he's not a classic guy no more. Like he grew a lot. Right now, as he says on Full Rabbit's podcast, he's 260. 260? I mean, with this body fat percent, that's that's a lot of muscle. That's a lot of muscle. And these legs, these legs are gonna kill those of uh, James Hollins here. And I would say Raphael Brandau as well. Like, those guys don't have legs like this. Now, the only flaw, the big flaw that uh, Horse FD has is his back in the back double bicep. Like, that's, that's a big issue. I don't know how much can he fix that, but... As far as like the size, the conditioning, the shape, the proportions, the symmetry, the structure, he has it all, man. Like he's a very, very good bodybuilder, very complete. I would say underrated at this point, but we'll see. I mean, he has a really good chance right now at the Arnold Classic to prove himself, and I think he's gonna send a message. I feel like he's gonna make some noise at this show at the Arnold Classic because, I mean, looking at this, this is freaking crazy here. This is nuts. Whatever you guys think about the Arnold Classic outcome, or about Nexilla, or about Samson Dauda versus Heidi Chopin, quote-unquote beef, tell me down below in the comment section, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. For more stuff like this, guys, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon. All the best, and bye-bye.